Hi beauties, welcome back again to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be doing this hair I got on Amazon and this is a paid sponsorship. Yes! Yes, this is my first video for sponsored hair and I'm doing this video with Carita Boho Goddess Crochet Hair and you can get them on Amazon as well. But today I got mine for free and this is it. So I would be trying out the hair and seeing how it looks like on me. So it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six packs. It comes in six packs and I think that should be enough for me. It also has a free gift in it. So guys, I'm going to be braiding my hair, just the regular all back method. And I'm also going to show you all during this video how to install your hair or this particular hair to make it come out full. It literally came out full because, because it's actually a thick kind of hair, but there's a way you should also install it to make it really look or come out full. So I'll be showing you all how to make it um, a pair full and also I'll be showing you all how I made my hairstyle to look like the thumbnail you all saw at the beginning I just wanted a style that would fit every pattern I wanted and this hair is legitly full guys at first the truth is at first when I saw this hair I literally didn't know that it was going to be enough like I was like just these packs uh, okay let's just see how it goes and then i started braiding and i'm like okay let's just see let me see if it doesn't work out i'll just let them know that this is actually my honest review about the hair and my plan was to actually make a real honest review i'm not going to be sugarcoating nothing i'm just going to tell you guys straight up what i feel about this Hair. at some point i was actually tired i was resting because it's been a very long time since i made my own hair i've been recently just wearing wigs and doing all that and yes guys i colored my hair i know to an extent it's not healthy because i really wanted to do a natural hair but i had to color my hair now back to the hair review so this hair is sincerely a very nice product i wouldn't lie i wouldn't want to sugarcoat anything at first it wasn't my best um hair but it came out nice because at last after i finished the whole installation i actually went to school and i did the rest of the hair and the rest of the video which you'll be seeing at the end of the video but yeah it wasn't at first my favorite hair but i f later loved it because you can actually use this hair in two ways you can use it as a single like individual braids you braid your hair individually and then you install it like that individually like a normal dread and you can also just use the loop method you just loop it or knot it like that and just carry it along and it's gonna come out nice and that's just the style i'm going to be doing today i will be doing the knot method just to pull it in through my hair and then just knot it down or tie it down and that is just it i'm not going to be doing the individual as you all can see i am braiding my hair i actually didn't even know i was going to even braid my hair this perfect because i was not expecting my hair to be able to grip i know right it's been long i cut it but i've not really been actually maintaining this hair like in a long time because i've been caught up with so many things so many things has been going on right now so my hair was just uh let me rest i'm going to take care of you later you know but yeah i my hair doesn't look like it could grip but it did so guys for this last section i'm going to be using my curved needle to tack it down to my hair just because i didn't want the um extra hair or the yeah the extra hair to like pop out i'll just make sure i tack it down if you don't want to tack it down you can just put it inside out inside out of your hair but as you, you all can see my hair is short so i can't actually do the inside out method so that's why i'm tacking it down but if you don't want to tack it down and your hair is long you can just put it inside out and you'll be fine just tuck it in perfectly but if your hair is not long 
just tack it down please so after i tack it down i'm going to go ahead to cut it and just continue with my installation so guys for this installation i'll be counting out the hair so i'll know how much i'm going to be using and i have 12 individual piece of this hair in one bundle so you have 12 individual hair in just one bundle and i have six packs so you all please do the math i'm terrible at math so i'm going to start at the end of the hair because i wanted it to be full but not full at the bottom okay the reason why i started at the end is because i want it to be um i want to be able to put it in a ponytail and not be scared that the down will be scanty or empty so the next section is to go to the left or right side whichever way you want to start from and then install it fully like make sure there is no space and this method is because you want it to be full when you are actually putting it in a ponytail when you're packing it up because if you want to drop it down you can just do it normal like just um drop it down or style it anyhow you want and meaning and that actually means you would if you want to always drop it down you would make sure the top part is actually full not this part i'm installing right now but since i personally want to always be putting it up in a bun or ponytail or whatever i am going to be making sure that this part is, is actually looking nice and full it's pretty sunny guys it's summer i can't drop this hair down so that's just why so that's the second part i'll be going to install the hair just my regular installation style like i told you guys the method i'm going to be using so after i install it on these two ends which will come out full the rest parts will just be regular because i don't want to put it down okay so i'm just telling you what i want to do so if you don't want to always put it um, in a ponytail you just make sure that the top parts are actually full you don't need to concentrate on these parts that i'm doing right now i mean if you have any question please don't hesitate to ask me okay because i'm pretty sure i'm not really explaining it explaining it well but yeah if you just have any question just ask me so i'm just filling up the parts that i feel might actually show or be revealing so it's full it shows that it's full when i pack it up and that's what i'm doing right now so guys i'll be going now to the um, front part and this is just simple as abc just install the hair at the beginning of the braid okay in the front some of you all would actually have um, paints and all that but i think it's bearable and yeah before i forget if you don't want your crochet to hurt or whatsoever or you don't want to feel pains please do not braid tightly man i was in pains for like two days guys because this hair was freaking tight it was tight and you know due to the fact that my hair is short and all that so i just had to like make it tight because i didn't want it to unravel or loose when i just pull in this hair and trust me guys this hair is thick it's thick it has its good and its bad size okay so i'm not just going to like just say this hair is perfect it's perfect no this hair is freaking hard to pull out of your hair especially when your hair is short like mine is painful because it's thick and it's fat <laughs> so like that was the only issue i had with this hair i had like pains i my hair was really hot and i'm not tender headed but after i did this i literally had to like take uh, medications just for like pains and all that because my hair was hurting really bad first of all my hair is short secondly i braided tightly thirdly this crochet hair was freaking fat it was big <laughs> so that's just the truth okay so if you really don't want paint just make sure you braid loosely and if you braid loosely with my kind of hair just know that it's not going to last too long but i wanted to take this for a while because i'm definitely not going to be touching my hair with the whole pain i face till further notice <laughs> but yes that is just why i took the paints okay to just make sure it's tight but aside that guys i really love the hair especially looking at it right now while doing this for voiceover i am super excited and it has actually gotten used to my face guys 
so that is what you have when i put it in a ponytail and this is me doing the final video in school loving it i love it sincerely like i love how puffy it is how full it is at the top when i do it on the ponytail at the top and this is exactly how it looks like when it's down so guys if you love this video don't forget to like subscribe ask whatever question you ask me you want to ask me i am always going to be here for you i'll be seeing you all on my next hair or my next week or my next hair review stay blessed stay safe and stay happy i love you all bye mm -hmm.